watching the finale of the Rose Table Quarantine Halloween. I've had a blast this fall hosting a harvest festival for my quarantine crew, a socially distanced pumpkin picnic in the garden, and a virtual vampire movie night. But we're not done yet. I've got a couple more Halloween at home ideas to share with y'all, so let's get started. For my classic Halloween setup, I used purple wash lights, spider webs, and tattered black fabric to give the dining room a spooky atmosphere. I hung ghosts from the doorway, and I kept my bats up for my vampire dinner. I swapped some of my art out for Halloween decor and hung gorgeous purple string lights and purple spider web lights on either side of the room. For the table, I used a black tablecloth with that same tattered black fabric as a table runner, and I kept the centerpiece very simple, just three pumpkins down the center and two Halloween candles. I set each place with my pumpkin plates, black silverware, and martini glasses. I don't know about you, but the one day of year that I want a really quick and easy dinner that's still festive and fun is Halloween. So this is what I make every single year. We just have a salsa here that is store-bought. If you think I'm making homemade salsa before taking my niece trick-or-treating, you're wrong. We're doing store-bought salsa and festive Halloween chips, and now we're going to pipe a spider web on it using sour cream. Now, sour cream on its own is a little bit thick and gloopy, so I like to make it just a little bit more liquidy by whisking in some cream. And now, we're just going to snip the end of a bag and pipe on a spider web. You just want to pipe three circles or octagons on the salsa, then pull through all three from the center with a toothpick. If you have a really chunky salsa like mine, you can go back over the spokes with more sour cream to form your spider web. Now, I have a little snack while I cook the world's easiest Halloween dinner. For dinner, we're going to make my jack-o'-lantern quesadillas. Now, honestly, what you put in them isn't even the point. If you have a picky eater, just do a cheese quesadilla. That's, it's totally fine. I like mine with chicken, black olive, avocado. I've got some green chilies here, some Colby Jack cheese, cilantro. But the real fun is in carving the jack-o'-lantern. Just want a sharp paring knife. I like to do triangles for the eyes. Let's see if I did okay. There we go. And then to get the perfect one, the perfect match, just lay your first eye on top of your second eye. Ta-da! Okay, and now you can do any face you want, of course, but I'm gonna do, I think, a vampire. I am not the best artist in the world, that's for sure. All right. <laughs> See how we did. That's cute! Once you've got your face, you can fill your jack lantern however you want. Now, I don't like to flip the quesadillas because they have their cute little faces and I don't want them to get damaged. So, we're actually gonna cook ours in the oven. I'm preheating to 350. Y'all know I'm Texan and I know a good quesadilla. Okay, I like some just green chili pieces. I have to wash my hands 27 times while filming this. Okay, yum. Okay, and then all that's left is our sweet little face. Look at that, Jack Lantern quesadilla. Ta -da! And there you go. Now, I forgot to tell you guys that these are jalapeno cheddar tortillas. If you can get like a sun dried tomato or some sort of orange tortilla, I think that makes it super fun. But almost every year I make these with normal tortillas. I just happen to see orange tortillas for this, uh, for today. Now all we have to do, bake this for 10 minutes and we're ready to go. For our Halloween drink, we're going to make an All Hallows Eve martini with dry ice. That's right, we're going to get it all nice and witchy and smoky. This drink is one and a half ounces of white rum, three fourths of an ounce blue curacao, three fourths of an ounce chambord, half an ounce simple syrup, a dash bitters, and one and a half ounces cranberry juice. Look at that fabulous inky black martini. So spooky and perfect for Halloween, but it's gonna get a little bit spookier. Just wanna give it a little taste just to make sure it's good. Oh, that's good. Bitters make everything better. The key to dry ice, so you don't wanna touch it and you don't wanna consume it, but it is safe to put in your drink because it fully evaporates to a fabulous gas form that looks all smoky and dramatic. So all we're gonna do, I have my bag of dry ice and I have a hammer. I'm just gonna bang it up with some nice chunks. Perfect. Looks good. Normally I do this with latex gloves. Long story short, I don't have latex gloves at the moment. So I'm just gonna use 
my other net to open. Woo! It's already getting a little spooky. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a nice big chunk of dry ice and watch what happens. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. I mean, is that a happy Halloween martini or what? Holy smokes, right? If you want more information about how to safely use dry ice and drinks, be sure to go to my website, therosetable.com. Being normal is vastly overrated. It's finally time for dinner. And check it out, after the dry ice evaporates from the martini, you see the frost on the glass. It's so super chilled. That's why you don't have to shake it with ice, you just pour it right in the glass, and then you're left with a perfectly chilled Halloween martini. I love it. Now if only my brother and sister-in-law and niece were all here to enjoy the Jacqueline and Kate's Diaz, her tradition, but I'll have to eat even one for them, I guess. Mm. Oh, how cute. I forgot to point out, but my friend Irene gave me the world's cutest little cauldron candle as a hostess gift for making her the vampire dinner. So what do you think? I thought I could make a little like Halloween wish, you know? Okay, so what do I wish? I wish that I could have guests at my table. <gasps> Once a year the full moon glooms, children dress in costumes. Jack o' lanterns come alive and sing this ghoulish tune. Witches fly upon their brooms, spirits rise from their tombs. Creatures of the night will hunt for candy to consume. Little kitties all beware of fearsome frights and sneaky scares. Goats and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Better find a good disguise to blend in if you're wise. Go from door to door and you'll collect a sweet surprise. Creepy, crawly, slime and goo, werewolves howl and zombies drool. Something's waiting in the dark to jump out and yell boo! Monsters roaming everywhere, tag along if you dare. You will have a night of frights and fun beyond compare. Once a year the full moon glooms, children dress in costumes. jack o lanterns come alive and sing his foolish tune. Witches fly upon their brooms, spirits rise from their tombs. Creatures of the night will hunt for candy to consume. Little kitties all beware of fears and frights and sneaky scares. Ghosts and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Better find a good disguise to blend in if you're wise. Go from door to door and you'll collect a sweet surprise. Creepy call is sign and do, werewolves howl and zombies drool. Something's waiting in the dark to jump out and yell boo! Monsters roaming everywhere, tag along if you dare. You will have a night of frights and fun beyond compare. Look out! Take care! Ghosts and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Don't run! Don't scream! They just want to wish you all a happy Halloween. And when they're through, they'll leave you with a final boo. Woo! That was amazing! <laughs> Last but certainly not least is Ghosts in the Graveyard. I have been eating this since I was a little girl, but of course I had to put my own rose table touch on it. I'll show you how I made it. It wouldn't be Halloween without Ghosts in the Graveyard. First, whipped cream with powdered sugar and vanilla. Then, whisk up Godiva dark chocolate pudding. Crush a box of Oreos and stir half the crumbs in, then fold in the whipped cream mixture. Spoon it into a 9 by 13 pan and top with the other half of Oreo crumbs. Refrigerate for at least an hour, then decorate with cookie tombstones, gummy worms, and whipped cream ghosts. This is a great make-ahead dish because it's actually better the day after you make it. Well guys, I don't know about you, but I have had an absolute blast with Quarantine Halloween. I hope you learned some fun new ideas for a festive holiday at home, and I wish you all a very happy Halloween!